What comes to mind when you hear MongoDB's schema? MongoDB? Schemaless, they said. Just dump your data and pray, they said. No, let's level set. MongoDB has a flexible schema, which means it can handle a variety of structured and unstructured data types efficiently and at scale. But flexibility shouldn't be confused with no rules or anything goes. You need to design data models with care. So let me show you how you can analyze your schema, export your schema, and generate schema validation rules to make your MongoDB schema as defined as you'd like. A completely free graphical user interface or GUI that we've created for developers by developers is MongoDB Compass. Compass has many features that aid in development, but let's focus on a few features that will help you design and adapt your schemas. With Compass, you can see exactly what's going on under the hood of your database. From the Schema tab, let's click Analyze Schema. This will sample up to a thousand documents and produce a schema for your collection. You can see every field, their types, min, max, average, and much more. When we have nested documents, you can expand those down and see those types as well. Now let's export our schema. We can pick a standard schema format for use in other tools that use standard JSON schema definitions or choose the MongoDB format that includes BSON data types for use in data validation at the database level or pick expanded format for understanding and documenting your data. And all of this is based on the JSON schema, an industry standard. Now to create schema validation rules for MongoDB collections, go to the validations tab. Then we can either click add a rule and we can paste in that JSON schema that we just generated from our schema tab, or we can click generate rule. Now again, this uses JSON schema for validation. Now we can modify this as needed, but based on our existing data, it has inferred that these are the fields that are required. And then these are all of the fields along with their types. We can now ensure that all data written to this collection matches this schema. Now we have a couple of choices on how strict we want this validation to be. At the top right, we can choose between moderate, strict, or off. And then under action, we can choose warning or error. A warning will still allow the document to be written and an error will prevent the document from being written. And that's it. So go flex your schema in MongoDB. Use Compass to see the structure, share the knowledge and enforce the rules. Go download Compass today if you don't have it already and let us know what you think.